this video I'm going to show you how to put up a basher just using one tree or one post whatever you like um, now why would you put a basher up with just one tree well I just want to show you that it's possible and you can still be comfortable but sometimes the woods don't play ball with you the trees are too far apart they're too close together there's rocks on the floor where you want to go there's logs on the floor where you want to go and where you see a good place is on a slope or something you know there's always something some sort of problem so what I, what I want to show you is you can put a basher up using just one tree um, the only problem with it is you've got to be a ground dweller to, to sleep underneath it so let's have a look and I'll show you what it's like okay I found a place I'm gonna put it against that tree there and put the basher down come in this way so let's get the gear out and put my rucksack to one side Okay, I'll go through the kit. Now I've got a British Army basher and the guy rope that's going through the middle of it. I always leave the guy rope on because uh, I found in the past that it takes longer to un un untangle the, the guy rope than it does to put the basher up itself. So um, yeah, it doesn't matter how I fold it, it always ends up in a mess. So I leave it on the basher now and it, it's less likely to get, to get tangled up. I've got 10 pegs, enough for what I want. I've got uh, two carabiners here with two bits of rope on. That's to, that's to make a Prusak knot at each end so the basher doesn't slide back and forth. And a load of ropes here, a load of paracord, rigged up like this with a knot at the end. So I put a 10 peg in just to put, pin out the corners and the bits in between the corners. So uh, let's get this stuff out of the way and rig up this basher. Right, not deep. Okay, I'll put them there at the way and then I'll get this basher all set up. I've got the basher all flattened out with the carabiner on this side because the tree I'm going to use is behind me and uh, it's, I've just put the rope back and forth end to end with a little bit left over there so uh, there's less likely to get tangled up because like I said before it just takes ages it takes longer to untangle the rope than to put the damn tarp up so um, let's rig it up Now the reason I've put a carabiner on the end of the guide rope like this is because I can just put the rope around the tree and just clip it on and if you're doing this in the dark it's, you know you've got to do things as easy as possible and um, I don't really want to take this guy rope off the uh, basher so, I, so I'd rather just clip it on like that and there's no pressure on that carabiner uh, it's not a proper carabiner it's just a little one but I've rigged it up in such a way that there's there's not a lot of pressure on it. Like that, see? The rope is going to come out. Oh, actually, the rope is going to come out this direction. So it's not there's no there's not too much pressure on it.
Okay, what I've just done is fixed this bit of rope with a Prusak knot there, which doesn't slide when it's in that position, and clipped it onto the carabiner there, so it's nice and tight going up there. And it's the same on the other side as well. So I'll just show you. Same again, Prusak knot, make it all neat as you can. It's not going to slide and I've clipped that on there. So everything's nice and tight. Next up is to get the ropes on the corners and the other ropes on in between the corners and then pin it out, then check it out and that's it. So uh, I'll do that next. Okay, it's all done, all set up. All you need to do now is uh, spruce it up to see, you know, to put it your way, to make it higher or lower or whatever. And um, I'd just like to say the loops on the corners, uh, the ropes on the corners, they've got two loops at each end. So uh, I just thread one through the other and then pull it tight. There's no tight uh, knots or anything, so it can be undone quite easily. Or you could leave them on, it's up to you. But uh, I'll show you what I mean. Just like that, really. Just thread it, thread it through, and thread it through the loop, and pull a, pull it tight. Now, would you be happy with that? If not, you could always uh, change it by unpegging it, and say that's too low for you because a lot of people have it higher than that. That's more of a military thing. That is more tactical. Um, but if you're not happy with the height, you can unpeg it and then just undo these. They just fall apart when you loosen them off and just pull it up a bit closer to the tree to make it more higher. But um, yeah, but there you go. It's, that's how you put up a basher on one, one tree or one post. So uh, yeah, all done. I've got uh, extra bits of paracord as well for the corners and um, there you go my other bit all with double loops on the ends and I've got one peg left actually so um, I ought to get more pegs in really well, I suppose I can make them out of twigged uh, strong sticks or something what I'm going to do with that is because because that's a main anchor point this ridge line Going up here, I'm going to strengthen that and put another peg in. That's something you could do. So it's held together with two pegs. Like that. Or you could uh, just use sticks. Rig up some. Uh, some temp pegs with sticks that's around you but anyway that's how you do it um, that's how you rig up the basher just on on one tree or post now there are other uses for the basher I'll cover that next another use for this basher is a stretcher so you, you, you t tie these ends together and then with this particular tarp this basher, it's got handles there. There's another set there, another set there, 
and another set there and the same on the other side and bear in mind this is the underneath of the basher now and the same going along and um, you can stick some poles through the edge as well if need be but uh, that's one use a stretcher it could be used as a crude bivy bag you just tie these ends up where you've folded it over just tie them together and there I've just folded it under as well to lock it off lock the end off so your feet will be at this end and uh, you could just climb in there with your sleeping bag and happy days and then bring that over and then if you wanted to you could use a carabiner to clip it together it's up to you so that's another use a very crude bivy bag you could use it as a seat cover keep the damp off your bum You could wrap your Bergen, a rucksack, up with a tarp if you're going to do a river cross where the river is over your head and you have to float across. And you could use it to cover your gear up as well. And I'm sure there's plenty more uses as well. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe if you like, and um, stay safe. And I'll see you around. Cheers.